Hi, this is Kim Peck at My Stamping Garage, and today I'm going to step you through making this card. This is probably one of my favorite cards ever. Um, this paper does all the justice here. Um, this is the New Horizons paper. I totally love it, and I'll show you where it is in the catalog. These are the Majestic Mountain dies, and this one is the Grove dies. And then we've got the Pebble embellishments, which are in the... Um, mini catalog that ends um, at the end of June. So be aware that you only have a little while left. Um, so let me show you where all of those items are in the catalogs. The Majestic Mountain dies are in the annual catalog, the new 22-23 annual catalog, and on page 172. So this is the set of Majestic Mountain dies. And then the Grove dies are in this mini catalog, but they also carried over into the annual catalog. So let me find those so you can see those as well. So here are the Grove, dry, Grove dies, and I used the deer from there. And that's on page 163 in the annual catalog. And then I think the um, highlight of the whole project is this paper. I absolutely love this paper. I wish it would have carried over into the new catalog because I have gone through so many packages of this and I love every single sheet that's in there. So, um, but I did use, I don't know, I think it's this sheet, but um, any of them would look good for this project. And then I also used some of these pebble enamel shapes. Those are also not carrying over into the new catalog. So um, if you want them, you'll want to get them now. Um, it goes through the end of June. So you have a little bit of time, but not a lot left to get those. And I do think that's one of the things that um, when supplies are gone, they're gone. So be aware of that and don't wait till the very end. So here's our sample again, and I'm going to show you how we got there. So if you're watching this video, you may have purchased my card kit to go for May. If you didn't, but you are interested in finding out more details, you can email me at kpexstamp at gmail.com. Um, I do one of these kits every month, and the kits include enough product to make 12 cards, three each of four different designs. So this is the second design in this particular kit, and I'm going to pull out the pieces I need for that. Okay, I've got all your die cuts in their own separate little baggies so that our deer didn't get lost. And then you should have your embellishments in there. So I'm going to grab out what I need here. And one thing I tried to do when I packaged up your trees, some of them, all of the little pieces pretty much fell out. And others of them, it kind of retained some of them. So I tried to give you at least um, one of each so that you could... Um, put them together on this card because you will need one that you can put some um, dimensionals behind. You could put it flat too and then you wouldn't need to worry. Um, in my card I did the dimensionals and you will have those in your kit this month. So, Okay, so let's get started. Um, I came up to do my videos and forgot my bone folder. So I'm going to do it without, but if you have a bone, bone folder this paper is a thicker, this is the thick basic white cardstock, and it is a heavier poundage in, in cardstock. I do that when I'm using a white base because it just holds up a little better. You can use the basic white as well, but this is just very sturdy, so I tend to use that. And with the bone folder, you get a nice crease. So this is the piece of the New Horizons paper, and these are 12 by, two, or sorry, 6 by 6 sheets, but I cut this down to... Um, the size that we needed for the card. So it's five and a quarter by four. And on the flyer that comes in your kit, all of those measurements will be listed as well. So I'm going to put it so that this scene is in the front. I'm just gonna center that piece. And then be very careful on this next part. It looks like this is the up and down because it's wider this way, but this is actually the way it goes. So be very careful if you, if you tear this incorrectly, it won't fit on the page like you would hope. I'm imagining that you can play with it and still find a way to make it work, but do be careful. You're gonna to wanna to tear from the edge, of the short edge. So take the shorter edge and tear from there and just tear. And then you're gonna use these pieces to put onto your card and let that scene show through the background. 
If you like this edge and you don't want it to be exact match, you can just flip it over. And that way you'll have edges that don't match and it's a little more rustic and you'll have that feathered edge on both sides. So that's completely up to you. Um, I think I'm going to do it this way. So, and then you're going to match up the corners at the top so that it covers that piece underneath. So there's the top piece. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. There you go. And then I'm going to put my trees down. So for the bottom one, I am going to use the more um, open one. So that one's going to go down first. And I'm going to put this closer to the edge. Don't worry if it, it goes over this. Just make sure it doesn't go over that bottom of the base um, or it will give you some trouble when you put it in the envelope. And next I'm going to put this tree. Now you could just put it flat but I did include this month um, your dimensionals, so you could use your dimensionals as well, and that's what I did. So if you'll notice, this part is a little fuller, so I'm going to put my dimensionals there and then put one right about there because I don't think it'll show through. So then I'm going, and if your dimensionals are too big and they are showing through, cut them with your scissors. They can be very small. Um, and then I'm just going to stagger this a little bit. It gives it a little more depth that way. And now I'm going to put some adhesive on my deer. And I'm gonna slide him so he's coming out from behind that first tree. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my pebbles in place. And each row has three different shapes. So I used one of each shape for this. Do be careful when you're lifting these off from this plastic. These tend to want to have the pop, the top pop off for some reason. If it does, you can put it back on with liquid glue and it's no problem. But um, it's better if you don't have to mess with that. So I'm going to put this one right about there. And... Uh, I wish I had my pick tool. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to put this one here. And last but not least, this one over here. And you could leave these off if you want to, but I just felt like it needed something to balance the card. And then last but not least, I am going to add my saying or my greeting. And for this one, I thought this would make a really nice sympathy card. Um... I hope I don't need one of those anytime soon, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and make one up. So I'm going to go ahead and put my dimensionals down to pop that tag up. And then I'm going to put that, and I actually did this between the trees, just gave it again a little more dimension. And there's our finished card. So that one, it looks complicated when you see it, but it is really so simple. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.